in this problem we have to show that cos inch plus inch to the nth power is equal to the cos inch of nx plus the cinch of nx. Um, let's go ahead and go through it. So before we do though, uh, recall the definitions of cos inch and cinch. So the hyperbolic cosine of x is equal to the average of e to the x and e to the negative x. That's the definition. And then the hyperbolic sine of x is half the difference of e to the x and e to the negative x. So you take the difference and then you half it. Okay, so proof. I think um, one way to do this maybe is just let's just take this and see what we get. And then we'll do the same thing here. And then maybe we'll get the same thing. Let's try it. That's my idea. So we have cos inch of x plus cinch of x to the nth power. So what is this? This is equal to, well, cos inch we know um, is e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. Plus, and then we know cinch is e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. Okay, it's so just replacing cinch with cos inch. My n here is a little bit, there we go, it's an n. <laughs> it's a falling apart n. All right, uh, what can we do here? Let's break, oh, and this is to the nth power. Let's break this up. This is e to the x over 2 plus e to the negative x over 2 plus e to the x over 2 minus e to the negative x over 2. All right, just breaking it up into four. So this over this, this over this, this over this, this over this. And yeah, I, I was thinking this would happen. Oh, we have the nth power here. We get some cancellation, you see. And then so we have e to the x over 2 plus e to the x over 2. So we have one half e to the x plus one half e to the x. That just gives us e to the x, okay? Because it's really, it's really one half e to the x plus one half e to the x, which is equal to one e to the x. You just add the one half plus one half. And this is to the nth power. And then here you just get e to the nx, because we end up multiplying here. Interesting stuff. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll work this out, and we'll see if we get the same thing. So let me use a different color. So now let's work out the right-hand side and hope that we get the same thing. Cosinch of nx plus cinch of nx. This is a pretty cool problem. I haven't done this, but this is, my idea was originally was what I'm doing, just writing it down and hoping we get the same thing. It should work. We should get some cancellation. So this is equal to, so uh, cos inch is the average, so it'll be e to the nx plus e to the negative nx divided by 2. That's the cos inch. And then plus, and then cinch is half the difference. So it's e to the nx minus e to the negative nx divided by 2. And same thing now, we'll break it up into uh, into four, su four sums. So it's this over this, so e to the nx over 2 plus e to the negative nx over 2 plus e to the nx over 2 then minus e to the negative nx over 2. And look at that, boom, boom, same thing. You have one half e to the nx, one half e to the nx, so you get e to the nx. So they're both equal to e to the nx, so they must be the same. So let's just say that. So thus, if you take cosinch of x plus cinch of x, and you add them and you raise it to the nth power, you get the cosinch of nx plus the cinch, pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool identity of nx, and that completes the proof. Kind of a fun problem, this is from, from an old book I have from the 80s, an old calculus book. Uh, fun times, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world, good luck.